we are not just celebrating June 12, but we are taking the idea of June 12 to a new level. We are taking our country back forever and ever. while I was sitting down there that I would not reveal any more of our programs because you know the thieves in Abuja have been stealing all of our manifestos. When we said we are paying workers 100,000, they decided they want to pay 56,000. When we decided we pay coppers 50,000, they rushed and paid them 25,000. Naira. When we declare June 12 our democracy day, they quickly package themselves together and declare June 12 democracy day. But that is not the issue today. The issue is that we have already taken power from them whether they like it or not. And I must tell you, that I'm very disappointed today that the organizers allowed Atiku to use the representative. I would have loved to debate Atiku today, but since Atiku is not in the house, I have proposed to debate Atiku in New York anytime he's available to travel over there. And I would have loved to see the president of Nigeria, President Buhari, who also should have been invited here today, even if it means that he came with his, his interpreter to debate us, so that he can also tell us what he intended to do for Nigeria beyond next year, apart from spending time in the UK where he normally goes for his medical uh, treatments. But greatest Nigerian people, having said that, I have uh, traveled around this country, and the general consensus is that it is over for the old guys. The general consensus that the corrupt, incompetent, wicked, and inhuman leadership in this country must be sent back in come February 2019. The consensus is that enough is enough for them. The consensus from the northeast, the northwest, the north central, the southwest, the southeast, and the south south, where I have been to have exchanges and engagement, is that President Buhari will be sent back to his village next year. I am not going to make a promise about what we do for Nigeria and what Nigeria will be experiencing. I'm making a threat. A threat to develop Nigeria and make Nigeria work for every Nigerian. As you all know, President Buhari was voted for as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2015. But he quickly became the senior prefect of Dara High School. Anybody who didn't come from Dara couldn't get a job under his government. He has decimated this country. He has divided this country along ethnic, religious, and class lines. And for those who are saying that maybe we made a mistake in 1999, maybe it's a good idea that we made a mistake. Because some of the people who are bringing Buhari back 
are the same people for, with whom we fought democracy between 1989 and 1999. They are right now saying that Buhari should come back and become the president of Nigeria to destroy the economy more. To bring about Boko Haram again. To encourage his men to be killing people everywhere. To keep the value of the Naira completely destroyed. To destroy education. To destroy the healthcare sector. President Buhari don't even trust Nigerian doctors. If the man wants to brush his teeth, he will jump on a presidential jet and travel to London. People who say President Buhari did not implement any projects are not particularly saying the truth. He implemented one. I've been told my time is up. What happened? Suddenly, the timekeepers woke up. That's a uh, kind of uh, funky. Anyways, let us let us say very quickly. Let us say very quickly that. Very quickly that, Mr. Kila. Let us say very quickly that we will bring upon this country unprecedented development by bringing back security, to bring back power, bring back infrastructure, to bring back jobs, that will fight corruption by ensuring that everybody that stole Nigeria to the condition that it is today will face the consequences of their actions and inactions. That we will have a Nigerian economy that is not dependent on PowerPoint presentations. That we will restructure Nigeria. That we will bring back health care by hiring doctors and bringing bring back the ones that ran away. That our education sector will be free, qualitative, up to our higher institution levels. That agriculture will become modernized and that we have tourism, and above that, above all that, please, finally, that everything will be dependent on technology. This is the end of analog leadership in Nigeria. We are entering into an era of digital leadership. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. See you.